hi everyone so today we'll be talking about uh, practical topic which is effective posture on blood pressure so when we change posture from morning till evening the blood circulation in our body it keeps on changing so basically alteration of the blood and hence the oxygen supply is affected in various tissues so to maintain the uniform oxygen supply to various tissues there are various mechanisms which are operating at various levels right so those mechanism to understand them the practical is there which is change of posture so basically change of posture when we change posture from lying down to sitting or lying down to standing there are various alteration in systolic and diastolic blood pressure values which will be focusing here right Let's see first the procedure. So we have to ask the subject to lie supine for five to ten minutes. Then we'll be recording the baseline recording, the resting BP, and we'll be recording the baseline blood pressure by palpatory method and auscultatory both the methods. Then we have to ask the subject to change the posture. Now first we'll be observing in sitting posture. the changes how basically the blood pressure changes so we ask the subject to sit up and immediately note the pulse rate and bp values only by auscultatory method similarly for second posture we ask the subject to stand from lying and repeat the whole procedure so we have to then compare the bp recorded or pulse rate change related with the baseline fine so this is all about how we'll go about it then we we'll, we have to actually make a table like this and in lying down position the resting value of pulse rate systolic and diastolic values by auscultatory method pulse pressure same when we change the position to sitting then accordingly we'll measure all the values and we'll see the immediate is on changing the posture and 1 2 3 minutes are the recovery readings okay same will repeat for standing on standing the immediate value and 1 2 3 the recovery values fine so if we talk about the change in sitting we don't get a specific change or alteration compared to baseline but when we talk about during standing there are lot of changes we get so pulse rate uh, the, we found increase in pulse rate and we found fall in systolic values increase in diastolic value and fall in pulse pressure so why the changes we are getting here let's see those mechanisms so first of all fall in systolic value we are talking about so when we change posture from lying down to standing suddenly there is venous pooling of blood leads to fall in bp which leads to further by baroreceptor reflex increase in heart rate and diastolic value also and hence then systolic value also so basically the fall is because of venous pooling right increase in diastolic value there is one more reason also on standing there is increase muscle pump because of the anti gravity muscles activated there is increased peripheral resistance because of the muscle pump which is basically increasing venous return fine so whenever there is fall in blood pressure the baroreceptor activity decreases firing which basically lead to increased sympathetic activity hence increase cardiac output and increase peripheral resistance which basically manage the bp again so this is all about the mechanisms right now abnormality can occur if the systolic fall when we stand it's more than 20 mmhg and diastolic values more than 10 mmhg is indicating orthostatic hypotension and the test used for this is lying to standing test and head up tilt so that's all about this practical thank you so much for watching